murder and the deaths of that couple, that horrible, brutal killing and rape in Tennessee that we've been uh, covering here on the Law and Crime Network. I have a new guest with me, um, Elizabeth Crody. I said it right? Crotty. Crotty, okay. <laughs> we, I practiced this a lot before we went on, and I still messed it up. Um, Elizabeth, you're a criminal defense attorney. You'd also been a prosecutor yourself in the Man Manhattan DA's office. Yes. It's a pleasure having you here. Thanks for you having came me. for your first appearance on Law and Crime for a very exciting day. <laughs> we actually had a verdict come in, uh, 36 counts read against Eric Boyd. We heard the juror's verdict there. Uh, he was found guilty on the top charge of murder. Uh, Elizabeth, your reaction to what you just heard? Uh, my reaction is that I think that they definitely, the jury definitely bought the testimony of the cooperator, hook, line, and sinker. It sounded like a pretty circumstantial case until that they had someone who was placing him in the scene and doing the, uh, and doing the actual crime. He had been questioned when the crime had initially happened, but then let go. Um, so I think that the, the cooperating witness was really the key linchpin in, in the jury finding their guilty verdict. And I also think, you know, the brutality of what happened. Obviously, you can't ignore that. So when jurors are looking at the evidence, sometimes they get overcome, right? right, with just kind of the details of the gruesomeness of what happened here. One thing that we were commenting as we were listening to the verdict being read, Eric Boyd seemed very he wasn't reacting at all. No, he seemed very stoic, very motionless. And I, I think that cuts two, two ways. It could either be the state of shock or it could be he finally, you know, f found what, you know, it's been 18 years coming. You never know if you're in the he head of a defendant. But I think his, his, uh, his notable lack of any kind of reaction is, is really notable because if someone has been found guilty on, I think, 34 of the 35 or 36 counts, I mean, that's really like a slam dunk verdict, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he has an automatic life sentence now. Well, I think it, I think probably, I don't know what the sentencing laws in Tennessee are, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's consecutive life sentences. So it's not just one, there's two individuals here, so it, there's at least two consecutive life um, sentences coming. Yeah, this guy's not getting out anytime soon. But what's interesting about this, we you talked about the cooperating witness, right? Uh, a co-defendant in this case who had been convicted years earlier coming forward, getting a reduction, reduction in his life sentence to just 50 years. Uh, for his testimony, and 50 years sounds like a long time, but think about it, he's already served 10, right? 40 years, you still have a chance of seeing the light of day again. Yeah, Whereas this guy, Eric Boyd, no way, he's done. Right, and, and the poor guy had already been in jail for, he's serving an 18 year sentence. So, I mean, who knows when the last time he, you know, was out of prison. Before. I don't feel too bad for him. No, though. I mean, obviously, given the facts of this case, you're not really, <laughs> you're not really like, oh my. But you know, it, it's just in terms of incarceration, maybe he just see, saw it as as more is coming. Um, but yeah, the definitely the cooperating witness. I mean, there's a big difference between getting out. I, he'll probably be in his 60s sure. when he gets out versus you know never Life. getting out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you heard it there. Uh, breaking news in the case against Eric Boyd: guilty on the highest charge and the most serious charge of murder. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Stay with us. Okay, so the judge is sentencing Boyd on counts, or already sentenced Boyd on counts one through three. Uh, they are automatic life sentences, and it looks like he's setting a September 18th date um, for the rest of the sentencing in this case. A bit unusual. That's what I gather. Um, again, automatic life sentence Eric Boyd is facing. Um, after being convicted just moments ago in the brutal murders of that Tennessee couple. Um, obviously, it's to be expected here he's getting an automatic life sentence, uh, Elizabeth. Yeah, I mean, I think when you, there's two people who are, it's a felony murder, where, you know, no matter what state you're in. So I think that that is a life in, in, in jail offense. And I just was wondering, I couldn't really hear what the judge was saying, whether it is going to be, it's three life sentences if they are going to run concurrent or consecutive. It's kind of, you know, editorial at this point. I don't think he's going to get out of jail. Not but, anytime soon. But I just Let's think hear what the, sorry to cut you off, Elizabeth. Let's hear what the judge is saying. I think we can hear him now. Okay, so the judge going through the charges, they're sentencing Eric Boyd 
on the counts that have automatic sentences. And from my understanding, uh, they're going to send a future date, September 18th, for sentencing him on the rest of the charges in which time they probably will hear some of the victim impact statements, which I can only imagine are going to be very emotional. We heard from the mothers of both of the victims in this case. And Elizabeth, this is just one of these brutal cases that really gets your blood boiling because there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason that this couple was murdered the way they were. I mean, not only were they murdered, they were kidnapped. Tortured, abused, sexually and, assaulted, and that, and then killed. So I mean, they didn't even have the decency to kill them outright. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, let's torture you before you go. Um, so it's a terrible thing. And so I think that, and the DA's office obviously could have made their point probably with a 10 count indictment, but went opted for the 35 count indictment as so that they could bring in all the material facts of all the different points of the crime, you know, got kind of driving home every aspect of what happened in this crime and that all being admissible, you know, during the trial. Yeah, again, this is an interesting in the fact this was a very high profile case in Tennessee when it happened. You had several of the defendants already convicted, one of them turning on Eric Boyd, testifying in court. And uh, if, if we don't have any live testimony later, maybe we'll replay some of that. It's been a fascinating case. But Eric Boyd found guilty on that murder charge sentencing date sent for September. Let's get in a quick break and hopefully we can take you live to that courtroom in Florida where we're inside another case of a guy who killed his neighbor and admitted to it. What's his defense?